my fiance from China now has a B1, B2 visa, that, that's a tourist visa. Um, is it possible to wed in the States and then file for the spousal visa? Um, yes, it is possible to wed in the States, but you wouldn't file for a spousal visa unless she plans to go back to China. So, so there's two scenarios, it's not clear in your question, so I'll discuss both of them. You can definitely get married in the United States, and then she goes back to China and you file a spousal visa and she waits there for that whole process to work its way through. Or you can marry in the United States and do an adjustment of status instead of a spousal visa, which is where you're basically adjusting your status from B1, B2 visa to lawful permanent resident. And uh, that's usually what people mean when they ask this question, which is quite common. So yes, uh, she can stay. Now, you know, I, I would be remiss not to mention that your intent is always important. If you intend to use a tourist visa for the purpose of immigrating, that's not correct and, and could cause you problems. Generally, it doesn't, but theoretically it could. In other words, they want you to use the correct visa. So if you're in China and you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna use my tourist visa to go to the United States and uh, get married and stay forever. In other words, I'm gonna immigrate. Well, then what they would tell you is, look, that's not the purpose of a tourist visa. The purpose of a tourist visa is come over here with your camera and take pictures of the Statue of Liberty. If your intent is get married, you should stay in China with a spousal visa. So intent is important. But if you're here on a tourist visa, you meet somebody, you fall in love, you want to get married, absolutely just do adjustment status. Um, uh, we do those all the time. If you found this video useful, it would mean a lot to us if you could hit the like button and comment below to let us know what you think. You can also ask your own immigration questions in the comments below. If you want to make sure not to miss any of our future videos, we invite you to subscribe here on YouTube and be sure to click the notification icon so you can be alerted whenever we publish a new video. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook where you can watch our regular immigration Q&A live streams.